What's up guys, Miju here, and today we're continuing our conversation of emotes. Emotes on Twitch do not have to be complicated whatsoever, and luckily for us, there are several options to do emotes 100% online without having to download any software onto our computer. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to remove a background from an image by using remove.bg, which is an online website that allows us to take advantage of an AI program that remove the background within minutes. Not even minutes, seconds. It's literally a click. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and click on the link above. Today we are going to continue that process and we are going to go through how to crop an image to the proper ratio that we need and automatically resize it to every size needed for an emote on Twitch as well as badges. That's kind of a little bonus. So after we have cut out the background from our images, the next step is to crop these into a perfect square so that we can upload them. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to use an online program called Pixlr. And Pixlr is 100% online, we don't need to download anything, and it is very similar to Photoshop which will do just perfect for this. We're going to go ahead and click Advanced Pixlr E, and from here, we just need to go to our Downloads folder and find our heads, our floating heads that we created earlier. Drag and drop them straight into the window. So this is my picture where I had extra long hair. We're going to go ahead and crop this into a perfect one by one ratio. And how we're going to do that is we're going to click the Crop tool over here on the left side. You can add in specific dimensions that you want right here, or we can go ahead and click Ratio. Ratio is actually easier for this instance since we only want to crop it into a square. So we just need a ratio of 1, 1, which you can adjust here, and then we're going to place it over our head. I am going to try and crop it as close as possible to make sure my head is as big as possible within the frame given. That'll make sure that my emote is as big as it possibly can be in such a tiny space. So we can go ahead and click enter or apply to apply our crop. And there we go. We want to make sure that this number over here is 112 or bigger because that is the largest size we need to put emotes on Twitch. So from here, we got to save our image once again now that we have it cropped and our background is removed. So we're going to go ahead and click file save because this is an online photo editor we do have to download it so we can go ahead and name the file whatever we want keep it on a png setting the png will allow us to preserve that transparent background so we go ahead and click download from here we can easily drag in our next image that we want to crop we can drag it right on top of this file and then we have the option to add to current file or create a new because we are creating a whole nother remote we want to do create new if for some reason we wanted to add this emote as another layer, that's where we would do add to current. But we're gonna click create new. We're gonna go to our crop tool, make sure we are on ratio of one, one. Perfect. Now we're gonna crop in as close as possible to our head here. I'm gonna try and go as close as my hands as I can. And we're sacrificing a little bit of our head. No problem. From here, we can click enter or apply. We are still above 112, so perfect. So again, file, save. We can give it a name or we can keep it blank. I recommend naming things at this stage as we have quite a few images at this point that have been downloaded into our folder. We're gonna call it Mishu. Mishi? Who's Mishi? That's me. Shock. Again, keep it as a PNG for our transparency. If we save it as a JPEG, it will automatically turn everything we made transparent into a white background which is why we absolutely do not want that. So keep it as a PNG. Again, there's our size and we click download. We're gonna go ahead and open another new tab and paste in this link, which I will place in the description below for you. But basically it's called Twitch Emote Resizer and it is on GitHub. And as you can see, we are able to drag an image anywhere on the screen and it'll automatically resize it into every size we need for both emotes and badges, which is pretty sweet if you ask me. So thanks TMA02, you're like amazing lifesaver. Let's go ahead and find our image in our downloads. And at this point, you probably got a bunch of floating heads, which is actually a little creepy. We're going to grab the one called Mishu Shot, drag it on anywhere on the screen, doesn't matter where, drop it. Done. Look at that. It's resized in every single image size we need. From here, you can just click download on every single one of these, and it even labels which size it is. Perfect. Let's grab out my other head. My other head. <laughs> We're going to drag it onto the screen drop it anywhere. Same thing. It's perfect. And it resizes it in every size, both emotes 
and badges. And that's it. That's all it takes. We use a few simple programs that end up doing most of the work for us, honestly. And we got some cool looking emotes that we can now upload into our Twitch account and wait for approval. Now go forth and create. You have all the skills and programs that you need. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below or come visit me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash likes. Until then, I will see you next time.